Okay, okay, okay what I'm trying to say is... Yeah. Okay, so, no, no, we all, we all do, we have a finish. Okay. So, Robbie, what I'm trying to say is the following, yeah? You said the universe has always been there. Right. You have just... You've basically accepted the necessary being. You've just applied it to the universe. Yes. The, see, what's That's happened now... So, what that means, Shrobu, is that you accept that we require the necessary being, but all you've done is you've applied it to the universe rather than the creator. So, what that means is the following. You are... Sorry, man. So, so what you've done is that you've applied it you've applied it to the universe so what that shows is you accept that we require a necessary being but what you've done is you've applied it to the wrong place so you're in a good track so, so, okay tell me why because you're saying my the definition of necessary being was self-sufficient independent yes cannot be composed of pieces and cannot be any other way the universe is the universe okay, composed okay, of pieces uh, hang on i think i don't think we i necessarily agree with that definition i think that the necessary being as you conceive it has to conform to that those attributes but i'm talking about a very different type of necessary being no, no, I mean, I, I, I do. being i'm saying that there has to be a necessary stop thank you to stop this Fan dependency exactly, yes. but i'm not saying it's necessary a being i'm just saying it's there has to be some necessary okay the universe can be i think you can apply necessity to the universe How? because i think it can it, it's always existed and no, no, it's no, 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 okay, no, there is no evidence no, no, for either you of you said it's opinions. caused itself and it's always existed but I, where's the evidence i don't have any but nor do you yes I, no, no, I, I, do. no, I do no i do no 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 look at the difference no, you're just saying there's a necessary it's being you're giving a definition look, look. we're saying there's necessity I and mean, we're applying it to different entities okay hear me up what did i say from the beginning that we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent beings which are composed of pieces that could be any other way that are dependent the opposite to that is what a necessary being i said it with my own mouth a necessary being that is self-sufficient independent listen to me cannot be composed of pieces cannot be any other way that is the total opposite of a dependent thing therefore when you say the universe is a nece is necessary not being necessary what you've done is the following you said the universe is, is self-sufficient and i said it can't be self-sufficient because it's composed of pieces and it can be any other way the universe can can cease to exist it can it can expand it can be anything else I, so I, I am compelled to accept your definition of a necessary being okay if i accept your definition of a contingent being because yes. it's the uh, in yes. Yes. so could you just tell me what what your definition of a of a, ne of a contingent being is? okay a contingent being is for example let's let these mics this mic is composed of pieces it could have ceased to it could have not existed it could be any other way yeah it is dependent and it's not self-sufficient okay it's dependent on, on smaller object no 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 it's dependent on someone to create it okay yeah yes okay, so, so 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 for this no of course therefore we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things because dependent things are made the universe the stars the sun the solar system us food but, but where in your definition of a dependent being does it preclude the universe from being a necessary being, a necessary entity? Let me tell you why. Because the universe fits perfectly to the dependent being. Why? Because it's composed of pieces. Yes or no? Is it composed of pieces? Yes. Okay. Can it be any other way? Yeah, but, okay. Now that's the first thing. That that's where we disagree. Because I think that a necessary necess necessity doesn't have to be the opposite of dependency. No, it has to. What do you I, okay. I do. I think that you can have an entity that's not composed of anything. Do, sorry, the, no, but we go, sorry, 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 sorry. No, we, we, we agree to that as well, but okay, it's, no, it's, it's yeah, contradicting no, no, sorry, I think the universe, the universe itself is composed of many things, but in its... In it's it, composed of pieces. It's pieces, yes. Yeah, it, but energy. surely, surely as a, a necessary being is composed of pieces. No. You've just given no. three attributes, no, no, three no. definitions of a no, uh, good, necessary good, being. Good, good, good. Good, okay. okay. So let me change the battery, sorry. Good. Don't, don't, okay, that's a good point. Okay, that's a very good point. We'll wrap up. We'll wrap up in about a couple. Yeah. Okay. Minutes. Yeah. 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 I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Bro, what's happening with the audio? Where's our mic? Huh? <laughs>
mic. No, we're using Sam Dawa's mic. Where's our mic? Huh? Yeah, but you came. Why didn't you give it to us? Anyways, okay. You're gonna have to take the audio from him. No, no, no. When you turn it on, it will start recording audio. Yeah, yeah. No problem. But I'm just saying. No, no, no. It's alright. So let's just carry on. It's no point. But, but thing connected. We're gonna get it from Sam Dawa. We're wrapping up. Wrapping up. It's not easy. Okay. Is it? Can, can I continue? Okay, good. So you said, ask the question. Again. Okay, so if uh, you've just given three attributes, you yeah. said the, uh, the the definition of a necessary entity or being yeah. to be the opposite of a, de a de yeah. So yes. I, of a depend yes. of a dependent being. Yes. Dependent beings are composed of things. Peace. Therefore, necessary beings cannot be composed of anything. Yet you've given three things, three definitions. There's more than that. Three by the way. attributes. Yeah, yeah, there are yeah. of of a necessary being. Yeah. So what would you say? Okay, good. So for example, this is obviously some of our brothers, uh, like we follow the met methodology of the Salaf, yeah? the companions, etc. Yeah? This is where a misunderstanding happens. Even Taymiyyah even mentioned this as well. Um, when, if you notice, I specifically said pieces, not parts. Because what happens is other... Um, Set, I would say sets, but ideologies in Islam, yeah, theologically they differ with us, uh, like the Asharis, the Maturidis, etc. They believe, they, they use this to negate God's attributes. So that's why I said pieces, because Ibn Taymiyyah even says that he doesn't agree for, to use the word parts, because what happens is certain groups, they use this to negate God's attributes. God's attributes are not parts, that's his essence. God, all-knowing, all-powerful, yeah, having a will is not a part, but it's not a separate part of him. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I so do. what I'm trying to say here is, it, when you say the universe, the universe is composed of pieces. So if it's, anything that's composed of pieces is what? Necessary or uh, contingent? Well, I'm still not sure if a necessary being necessarily has to be the opposite of a dependent. No, no, but it has to. Okay, okay. Now, how can okay. it not be? Come on, okay, tell okay, me. yes, okay. But I, and this is where uh, where I'm unable to really bring the conversation further. I don't know if anyone really can because we don't know how what the initial composition of the universe was. Okay. And um, but there were base base substances. But it's still parts. I do, yeah, there were still individual exactly. parts. Exactly. So, so, so yes. what I'm trying to say is this, yeah, from but, our point, let me tell you, okay, like, okay. from our point, yeah. Anything that's composed of pieces is contingent, period. So that's why in the beginning, that's why I said, anything that can be any other way, composed of pieces, not parts, because we're not using that to negate Allah's attributes, yeah. Composed of pieces, and that is dependent, is contingent. And the opposite of that is what? That's why when you said, the universe is necessary, not being, not necessary being. You said necessary, I said it can't be. You know why? Because the universe is composed of pieces. You talked about composition, composed. It can be any other way. The universe can have, I don't know, an extra 55 million stars. It can be any other way. It is dependent. Therefore, it requires a independent, self-sufficient being that is not composed of pieces and that cannot be any other way. Now, you can come and say to me, okay Ali, let's suppose there's a necessary being. Why is that Allah? That is where we can have another discussion, yes, another, another time. One. It's Thank another one you. where we can talk about why it is Allah, why it is not these deities like, I don't know, these other gods, idols, etc. Because all of those things that you're talking about are all statues, Jesus. They're composed of parts, when I mean, they're composed of pieces, they could have been any other way, and they're dependent. We, we, we ask the Christians, what did, did Jesus eat? They say, yeah. Well, that's a dependent being. How could a dependent being be a necessary? Be necessary. But anyways, let's get with me. Yeah, thank you. Strong. I'll come back. I'll come back next week. I Hopefully you, there'll be are, some more. You are a true gentleman. No, you I are. Think was a, a, I really enjoyed the discussion. Scholar. It's very good. Yeah. You're like a great um, Imam. I, I, imam. I, imam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody. A scholar of our I, I'm, I'm a milkshake. Strawberry flavor. I'm a milkshake. Oh, wow. You're not a chef. No, I'm a nobody. These, these, are, these are things that we have learned. It's a very but interesting it's, argument. Yes. I need to think about that properly. Yes, yes. Watch it, but it's not from me. It's not from me. But it's just thought provoking for us to understand uh, that, that there is very, very good evidence and little room for doubt about God's existence. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. That's pleasure. Come next week. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys. So basically, we had a nice discussion. Very fruitful, gentlemen. A civilized discussion, which I genuinely like myself. 
Um, oh yeah, hope you guys learned, hope you guys benefited from that as well. All praise it belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and yeah, may Allah bless you guys. Till next time, for me, Strawberry and Girl. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.